engineers we've got a new version of Cubase we're gonna open her up try it raw with you guys watching embarrassing things will probably happen but there are some cool new features here that we need to take a look at let's get it so right into the least favorite part of any Steinberg product the installation open up Steinberg download assistant it wants to upgrade you install the upgrade and it doesn't work. Find the manual install, still didn't work. It lists the Cubase 14.0.2 update. Try to install that, it doesn't install. At the end of the day, head off to Steinberg's website, install manually. It's been, you know what, 30 years? Guys, can we get an installer that works? Thanks. Audio segment detection, so. So on Mac, we are on Command Shift, and look at this. It's picking up sections, although it's combining some of them. Look at that. Okay, and then we can go in and immediately mess with them. How cool is that? Let's get a few of these messed with. Okay. So the process is command shift and it starts isolating the segments. And if I move up to that new green bar, we can mess with the gain. Let's listen. Oh, I'm on the uh, select. There we go. Okay, this is going to be highly useful for micro editing stuff. <laughs> cool. Okay, let's get rid of all of that. So that's great. That's simple as, as heck. Do any other DAWs have this? I haven't seen this kind of implementation before at all. Now it looks like it's missing the transient there. Let's take a look. Yes. It's missing the transient. So then uh, what? I can go to the pencil. Yeah. So that's a way that we could fix that. But that's not good guys. So consider this maybe a little beta. And it doesn't work when I'm in, I'm in the pencil tool, so I've got to be on the select tool or range. You can see it's not quite, look at that. So let's zoom in a bit. So it's not making those into one unit. So I think in the future, we're gonna need some kind of resolution control I mean, this is, I mean, it doesn't get any clearer than this. This is a really well recorded kick drum, and it's just not really breaking it up the way that you'd expect. So, we'll see. It's encouraging, but also discouraging. So, here for this kick, I'd have to bring this down. It doesn't tell me anywhere how much I'm bringing it down, but at least it shows me. And then I'd have to go up and get, well, what's going on here? Okay, so now I want to bring this down. And I'm going to very carefully, okay, so this is kind of tricky to get. So now, you know, manually you really can't, can't get this to be perfect. So then, it could lead to some, um, some troubles, some real kind of jumps and gain if you're not really careful. But, I mean, it's encouraging, it's exciting. So, I mean, here it's done a good job and grabbed this all together as one. 
but here it's broken this very clear transient and here too although that's not bad but here this is you know fatal like whatever this is running on whatever neural engine is figuring this stuff out they got to work on this algorithm because I mean I know nothing's easy with pro audio but I mean here it's treating this kick and the very starting transient of the next kick as if it's one segment so this is something they're gonna have to work on it's exciting right but uh, it's gonna have to be accurate if we're gonna use this on a daily basis very innovative do like it a lot again is this out there anywhere I would humbly ask that you subscribe to stay in tune with all the latest in pro audio news technology and techniques we're approaching a thousand subs and I'd really appreciate a like and a subscribe okay let's see if the um, audio segment detection is better on a vocal The blood was a warning. So I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's you know six syllables, and I get it detects two syllables, and then you know, and there's stuff like right in here. It'd be fantastic to you know that'd be a good thing to maybe play with the gain if I wanted to go to get everything perfectly the same gain. Like, it'd be nice if it detected this little bit right here. You know? Like, ding, ding. wonder if uh, when you cut it, does it change detection? Yes. Okay, so there's a bit of a solution with, uh, you know, a, a, a material that has uh, longer notes. So we can force the issue with some of these, right? So here again is taking all these words... It happened this morning. One, two, three, four, five, six. So if I chop, chop. Now, okay, so at least it works with me on the team. But this doesn't save me any time since I can now. You know, if I got to go in and chop, 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 then, you know, I can just go down here. To this and and deal with things that well okay so there right so I chopped those but now if I try to use clip gain since I haven't chopped everything downstream of this will be activated whereas with the clip detection or sorry audio segment detection I can independently move that one it happened this morning uh, that's nice. Uh, yeah, this will be really useful. It just, um, we needed to get more accurate. It's generally pretty good, but I mean, look here. So, it's not, I'm not getting that, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> like, what good does it do me to have that little bit detec detected, right? So, they got to work on this. What happens if I make a chop? No, it's still, and I mean, even there, is it, is it detecting every oh it's making like look at that so they got to tweak this so i mean the, the, it's useless to to be able to isolate this like what is this like 10 milliseconds or something you know why would i want that so they've got to work on this this has got to get a lot smarter but it does work a little better on this extended program material like vocals I think it's better on this. Oh, look at that. It takes all that. What is this? A light inside was. One, two, three, four, five, you know, six syllables, and it's just taking it into one giant syllable. It's not, you know, generally what you're looking for when you want to do this kind of thing. So now, with detection, I've got them isolated. But this series, I can just do this with clip gain. So it's almost clunkier because here I've got to be holding my command keys and then I need to carefully get up to this nipple. All right, Steinberg. So, you know, good effort. 
needs needs a little work you see it quite consistent through here so i mean this is mostly useful right and boost this word you know boost that one when this works perfectly this will accelerate vocal editing to such a degree guitars too I mean, it's fantastic she cried the words that she knew was him a good start steinberg needs work all right so now we can do a marker exports so we go to export audio mix down do i have a marker track in here so let's let's go ahead and okay yeah we got some uh verse one chorus one so i do have markers in here so now we have a new section here insert marker chunk check out the cog wheel and if i had multiple tracks of markers we could pick the marker so we'll choose the markers so let's do a mix down of this master bus there are no effects i think in this so they should go pretty quickly So what else we got? Uh, new key commands for time signature and tempo and transposition. So let's take a look. We're gonna go key commands, tempo. Ah, tempo event at cursor. So, let's get a tempo track so we can see this. Uh, tempo, add track, and command option shift T. There we go, 120. And indeed, that just conveniently inserts a tempo. For you guys that gotta change that tempo right on the fly, you now have a hotkey to change tempo and time signature let's take a look time signature enter time signature event let's do uh, control option shift t and we will add a signature track there we go and we're gonna do control option shift T all right we can go five we can go four four eight four eight okay four four added four eight nice and transposition okay so we have transpose down, control option down, control option up. Okay, this will be fun. Let's try some of this. Let's find the bass and we'll do a little bit of the Okay, control option up. Yeah, <laughs> it works. <laughs> it works. You can do one semitone. We can even watch in the inspector up here. Just do fifth. <laughs> yeah, nice. Okay, so that's great. Command and click the transpose to get back to normal. And that will work on audio and MIDI. Okay, so we've got mix console improvements. Let's see here. If we take a look at our options, we can now 
get rid of the faders. Ain't that neat? So this is actually really cool for me. So for me, when using the uh, inline uh, mix console here in the main window, I usually don't want to sit here and play with faders. I usually want to look at my inserts and sends and stuff. And uh, with Cubase 14, uh, we got the full mixer uh, finally in here in the mix console. We have every strip and every feature available within the inline mixer here, which is great. But it does also work on uh, the main mix console. There, no faders. <laughs> Not sure what you're supposed to do with that. You get all this dead space. Either way, for the inline mixer, this is really great. I very rarely want to play with the faders in here. I'm usually down here to get a quick look at, um, for that very reason, there we go. I mean, like, you know, a little errant mouse click, and now I'm looking at a fader being moved out of position. So I just like this. check out inserts and sends and routing and stuff really quickly fix the cue mix this is really nice for when you're tracking and you're building a headphone mix for somebody so this is a great feature thank you Steinberg now just fix the main mix console